to this transatlantic crossing. What a journey. We started from uh, Gibraltar, uh, went from Gibraltar to the Canaries, and then made a quick stop uh, just for a day. Um, time to fuel up and getting enough food, enough water uh, to be able to go for at least a month. Because we know when we leave, but we don't know when we arrive. This is a uh, one special thing about it, uh, we don't know how long it's going to take, and it's part of the of the adventure. On the first night, we had dolphins swimming under the boat, making the most impressive light show I've ever seen. The night was very dark, and we could not see the dolphins at all. But we saw better; we saw their glow. There is all around bioluminescent, microscopic plankton. And as the dolphins were swimming fast, they were disturbing this organism, and we could see traces of lights in the shape of dolphins, crisscrossing and dancing around. All right, day three. Uh, so we decided to actually fish today. Uh, put the line early in the morning, and uh, all day nothing. We didn't get anything. Uh, and so we waited, 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 and finally, in the evening, uh, we caught a fish. It looks tasty, so tomorrow we'll try that fish. Should be good. So last night, the wind picked up uh, a bit, and uh, it's actually pretty good because now we're making some good time. What also good is uh, that the waves are coming from the back because the wind turned and it's pushing from the back of the boat. And uh, now we don't, we don't crash anymore. We don't bang against the wave. Uh, it's pretty good because we're just surfing with the wave, which makes it a lot more comfortable actually. Um, and it's all good because now we just let the wind bring us slowly and, um, and we're having a good time. This is day seven. Um, it's been a weird day since this morning of kind of clouds um, everywhere full of rain. So it's like you got blue sky and then rain, blue sky, rain, blue sky, rain. So what happened is during the night, the cut zero, our biggest sail got snagged uh, where we tried to roll it away. Um, it got caught in the wind and, uh, and it just got snagged. So what we had to do is take it down. Uh, we had to unroll it completely to get it free from the snag. Uh, and then we got to re-roll it. So it's just a very, very big and long sail. So it takes a lot of uh, people to be able to, to do that. So uh, we were four this morning uh, trying to unsnag it and, and put it back together. And, uh, and then uh, get it back up, you know, so things happen. Sometimes you got to fix things at sea and, uh, and keep going. So that's what we're doing and continuing our journey. We're exactly halfway on our journey, transatlantic. So we decided it's quiet today, calm water. Why not get a dive, you know? So we're getting our stuff ready. Gonna dive in the middle of the Atlantic. And I don't know, maybe we'll see something. Well came to hang out with us and stayed a few hours. He was swimming around the boat, diving up and down. After observing him for a while on the surface, we decided to roll away the sail and stop the boat. We feared that the whale would keep going and swim away. But no, the whale stayed right under the boat, like he was waiting for us. I grabbed the camera, a mask, and just hanged on the back of the boat. We were very 
very careful not to be intrusive. We never swim towards the whale, but let him come to us. And he did it over and over again. It was a very curious juvenile, I think. We only stayed a few minutes in the water. And even after we started our route back, the whale swam along with us for the next six or seven hours. I will never forget that moment. Here is fish number two. This is a good sized tuna. Feels good to be able to catch your own meal and not depend on global production. When you cross an ocean that big, you have to put everything in perspective. We see another boat the first three days, and then none for the next two weeks. We are literally just a drop in the ocean. It's been exactly two weeks since we left, and we've already seen a lot of amazing things. Dolphins at night, illuminated by bioluminescence, countless beautiful sunsets. Caught a couple of fishes and scuba dive in the middle of the Atlantic, even though we didn't see anything passing by. During the day, we have to keep busy. That involves a lot of reading, some fishing, some good workouts, listening to music, but mostly relaxing and enjoying the quiet peace that the ocean offers. There is some birds. That means that we are getting close to land. It's been 18 days. I enjoyed every minute of it. I am not in a hurry to arrive, actually. Being disconnected from society is actually soothing. I can say that I truly understand that saying. This is not the destination that matters, but the journey.